Well, it's always a special day when a car like this comes to our shores, and this one is one of the most exquisite ones to ever make roads to our country. This is the Lamborghini Huracan STO. And in short, this is an out-and-out -out sports car dressed in casual clothing. Now, a car as exquisite as this demands a little bit more attention, so here's everything that you need to know about the all-new Huracan STO. Now, as the name suggests, the Huracan STO is based on the Lamborghini Huracan and it is the most extreme version of it ever. It is basically a road-going version of the Huracan Super Trofeo and the Lamborghini GT3 racing cars which is signified by the full form of the STO in this car's name which stands for Super Trofeo Homologata. This is based on the car that has won 24 hours of Daytona in 2018, 2019 and 2020 three years in a row. It is powered by a V10 naturally aspirated engine that makes 640 horsepower and 565 newton meters of torque. And the car is light, really light. 75% of the STO's body panels are carbon fiber and it does away with the four wheel drive system from the Huracan and as a result, it is 43 kgs lighter than the Huracan Performante, which has now been discontinued. And mind you, 43 kilos is a massive amount in supercar world. Other weight saving measures include a 20% lighter windscreen, new magnesium wheels and an updated rear wing which maintains the same rigidity while using 25% less carbon material when compared to the Performante. Inside the new Lamborghini, the cockpit has been updated with a host of carbon elements and the company has gone to the lengths of putting in carbon weaved floor mats and even lightweight door latches. On the outside, the STO also gets an extreme aerodynamic makeover which has been done after extensive wind tunnel testing. And as a result, there are new bonnet ducts and the bonnet, the splitter and the front bumper are all now one piece, similar to how it is on a race car. There are new wheel arch vents to improve brake cooling and the aerodynamics and the underbody of the car has been reworked along with the rear diffuser too. The big visual change however is the new large air scoop which sits on top of the engine cover and accompanies the large shark fin design element behind it which is meant to improve stability. The large rear wing is manually adjustable too for better airflow. All in all, these changes have helped Lamborghini achieve 37% increase in airflow efficiency and a massive 53% downforce increase, which is 450 kilos of it at 280 kilometers an hour, as compared to the Huracan Performante. The car also gets new tires, which are specifically built for this car and are called Bridgestone Potenza. And these are matched with the updated braking system, which is the Brembo CCMR system that uses F1 optimized carbon ceramic materials, giving the car extreme levels of grip and braking power. But the changes don't stop there. There have been numerous chassis updates, there is a wider wheel track, updated steering response that works in tandem with rear wheel steering, stiffer suspension and a new anti-roll bar design. The Lamborghini Huracan STO gets three new drive modes as well. The default is called the STO mode. Then there's the Trofeo mode which is the sportiest setting and the Pioggia mode which is meant for tricky weather conditions. All in all, the new Lamborghini Huracan STO is one of the most extreme, performance oriented and without a doubt, one of the fastest cars that you can buy in India right now. And perhaps also one of the most expensive as it is priced at 4.99 crores ex showroom. So there you have it, that was the Lamborghini Huracan STO and of course by the looks of it, you can make out this is one of the most hardcore cars that you can buy in the Indian market right now. But there is more to it than what meets the eye. That is the fact that this is not only special in terms of performance but also it's one of the last few cars of its kind that is making its way to the Indian market because well, as time goes by, things are going to get better, things are going to get faster but the naturally aspirated experience, well, that is something that this is as pure as it can get.